I'm using my mobile phone every day and probably for too many hours like everyone else, but uh, I could replace it with notepad, iPad, maybe physical camera to use my phone less, but I don't know if I need it. So I decided to take a look in this problem. What exactly I don't like about mobile phones? Is it really a problem? Sometimes. I'm traveling quite a lot and right now I'm living in Bangkok, Thailand. So Google Maps are must have. And yes, I'm old enough to remember how it was to travel with paper maps. I have did that. I even know how to use maps in the forest, but that's not something that I would like to do in day-to-day -day life. I really, really would not like to find myself in the middle of the traffic with paper maps. Google Maps are way more comfortable for that. Same about the gym. Sure, I can use paper and pen to write down whatever I do in gym when I'm lifting weights, but mobile phone is way more comfortable for that. In Muay Thai gym, I don't really need iPhone when I'm training, but it's super nice to have Apple Watch on your wrist when you are training and have all the training data recorded. So that's comfortable. It's not necessary to have iPhone when you are training Muay Thai or gym, but it is way more easier. I don't know how can you track your hair. Sure, you can just do not track it and ignore. You can train without hair sensor, of course. It's not necessary. But it's kind of handy to know how you are, how was your sleep last night, why you are feeling good or bad now, and so on and so on. That's just helpful. So traveling across the world, or just living in Thailand, that's foreign language, right? There are very few people who are speaking Latvian in the world, so... <laughs> Latvian definitely is not enough to get around everywhere. English, knowing English kind of helps, but not everyone speaks English in Thailand, especially in this neighborhood. I'm living among the locals. I just prefer that in that way. It's less crowded. Better air, less pollution, less noise, less anything bad you can imagine about overcrowded tourist places. So, do you have Pedna? Pedmai? Okay. How cold my? Brown rice? Cup and half. I'm trying to learn Thai, but believe it or not, it's not that easy. So, Google Translate. 
and ChatGPT, both of them helps a lot. I really, really don't want to replace it with some kind of paper, um, book, <laughs> dictionary. Nu labdien, labdien. Čau, Duksi, čau, Duksi. Of course, I could just point a finger to the food I want to buy, but uh, not everything is visible. For example, rice. I tried to ask for brown rice, but I don't know if they have it or not. But yeah, basically I got just rice. But I asked if this is spicy. They said, no, no, it's not. And yeah, at least we got that part of communication. It's way easier if you have your phone with you to get help, you know, with that. And again, sure, I can write down those kind of questions on pen and paper and then basically ask them. But again, it's way, way more convenient to use phone to do that. Okay. This meal, it is some chicken, I think it's chicken, spicy chicken, little bit spicy, okay, not spicy for locals, let me try. Hmm, yeah, chicken, not spicy. Oh, little bit spicy. Oh, actually, that will be considered spicy in Europe. Let's be honest, <laughs> but it's good. It's good. So, so much food, just 40 bucks, and 40 bucks is about one euro. How much that's in dollars for my American friends? 1.3 dollars, one dollar 30 cents for you American friends. It's amazing food. <laughs> Amazing price. <laughs> so if I like my iPhone so much, where is the problem? Distractions. All the social media, other apps. Sometimes those are productivity applications. They can be distractive. For example, I don't know, not social media, email. You are supposed to do something else, but you found yourself reading email. Yes, dumb phone could help, but I really like this possibility to just order coffee from my phone and all the other benefits that I already told you about. They're great, right? I don't want to lose them. No custody. Yeah. Yeah. That guy decided to chill out a little bit in the sun. <laughs> he really enjoys that. Okay. Nice. This is for me now, this is for me later. <laughs> so yeah, the problem with phone is that it is super helpful and useful most of the time, but sometimes I found myself on the phone when I didn't plan to be on the phone, when I planned to do some work and I found myself, I don't know, grabbing phone to test some feature and then finding myself half hour later in Instagram, for example, scrolling, or even if I'm, yeah, just getting some notification and then checking it, maybe that's message from my wife, I answering it and then I notice, oh, there is something happening on X, I have five notifications right here, so let's check out what's going on here. And it's not a problem in day-to-day -day life, but it is problem when I planned to spend spend, I don't know, hour working on my own projects and spending half of that on my phone. And yes, there are multiple solutions to solve that. There are plenty of screen blocking applications. You can use built-in Apple screen time and limit how much time you will allow yourself to spend on social networks. 
Another option is to have a second phone. I have, <laughs> yeah, two phones and uh, TikTok is on this one. Probably I have TikTok on this one as well. I don't know. I don't know, maybe, whatever. But this TikTok is basically, this phone is on US VPN and hopefully my content is pushed to US market from this phone. That's why I have it. And yes, I could use basically this phone for social media, this phone for work, but social media is part of my work as well. That's so blend together. So that doesn't work. Uh, blocking applications also doesn't work. For example, you, I could limit my usage, let's say 15 minutes or half of the hour in a day for Instagram. But uh, I will say that's not a problem. I don't want to limit myself for 30 minutes of Instagram or TikTok or social medias in a day because sometimes I need more for work. Sometimes I need less. It's not kind of set and forget. It's, it depends, you know. And if I want to waste <laughs> hour on Instagram, just scrolling it when I'm on vacation on the beach, that's fine as well. So those hard limit applications doesn't work. So I built my own version for that just to work as I like to work it. So that's my app. It's focus lock Pomodoro timer. Basically that is what application is saying. That is Pomodoro timer but it helps me to lock the focus when I promised myself that I would like to focus. So in the nutshell, that is Pomodoro timer. Basically, that helps me to stay on task when I decided that I would like to work. For example, I'm saying, okay, now I would like to work on my own pro projects or now I would like to whatever, play games. And so I'm choosing, for example, that I would like to do programming or debugging or writing, whatever. And I would like to block some specific applications. Let's say I would like to block Instagram. I would like to block TikTok and X. Those are my kind of three most distractive applications. So I'm blocking them and starting my Pomodoro timer. Basically now I'm just working for next 25 minutes recording this video or editing it or working on my project, whatever I decided to do. And now by, when I decided to do that thing, my social network apps are locked. My Instagram is locked and my X is locked. And just for this period of time, for this time when I'm working, when I'm on my break and can, I can go back and scroll Instagram if I want to, that's basically simple. <laughs> solution, but that works for me. That's exactly what I want to do. And yeah, side benefit is that I can see, I can see reporting how much time did I spend working on which tasks and so on. I have streak and badges to see my progress, how good I am sticking with my kind of tasks and so on. So that's app that I built. This solving my problem with distractions on phones without kind of going to some crazy uh, two phones, dumb phone, whatever, blocking all the unnecessary applications and so on. Sure, you can go nuclear on that. You can go all in and wipe your phone, delete Instagram, X, what else not. But I don't know. I don't want to be that sociopath. I'm already kind of weird enough without going in that deep end. So if you have similar problem like I have, Check out the app. It is named Focus Lock Pomodoro Timer. It is available on the App Store already and I'm working on improvements. If you are looking for similar applications, you are missing some features, let me know. I'm working now on new features and developing it. There is high chance that I will find your suggestions useful and add them in the application. And, and, if you are celebrating New Year and Christmas, <laughs> Happy New Year and Happy Christmas to everyone. See you probably next year. After Christmas, definitely. Okay, bye.